So come on, hop on the boat, we can get started. This is possibly the most bizarre review I've ever written because Happy Funland has so many VR red flags, it's close to being one of the worst games I've experienced in a headset in a long time. It's missing core things that make a VR game fun to play and experience. However, for some reason I did stay till the end and in today's video I will share why. The premise of Happy Funland is to explore an abandoned theme park, which in itself is very compelling. This theme park was invented by a rich and corrupt bad businessman, who I think is based on Walt Disney, especially when I saw some of the rides later on in the game. And it's full of psychedelic occurrences, nightmare rides, and lots of drug and sexual references. Which, to be fair, I don't really feel needed to be here, aside from adding some shock factor to the player. You'll see dildos, pirates talking about having sex with goats. You can ring me back anytime. <laughs> oh, look, she's got goat toe. Don't touch me there. <laughs> Blow up dolls and more. Then you have the theme park rides themselves, which weren't that bad, but not exactly exciting or engaging. The only real positive before I get into the list of negatives, and there is a lot more, is the graphics. While most things in the world had no real physical presence, meaning you can just put your hand through most things, I actually think the game looks good. It's full of detail and that definitely adds to the atmosphere. Customer shops, for example, are full of items and the park itself looks excellent. And it genuinely looks like a rundown theme park. Unfortunately though, that's all I've got good to say about Happy Funland. And most of its atmosphere is lost due to being pretty dull to play overall and just terrible to bear witness to. Let me get some of the fundamentals out of the way. There's no smooth turning and no head-based movement, meaning a heavy use of snap turn. You constantly have a large compass at your feet throughout the game, which makes no sense to me at all, and the combat is incredibly awful. When I was first attacked by the malfunctioning park characters, I thought, oh well, this could be pretty cool. It's kind of like a first person Five Nights at Freddy's, but man, was I so wrong to get my hopes up. It takes between 40 to 50 twitchy hits with whatever you're holding to kill them, and it's incredibly tedious, even after the first or second time. And from then on, instead of being worried about them appearing, you simply sigh inwards each time they appear. The sound levels are terrible too. You constantly have this guy who sounds like Mater from Disney Cars yapping away, but he's barely audible due to the environment sound. And you have no control over audio or subtitles. Plus the game's audio cues don't stop if you interact with something. It just keeps yapping away. At one point I had three verbal audio cues all happening at once, and that meant none of them mattered because I couldn't individually listen to any of them. There was some light at the end of the tunnel with playing mini golf, and you have to play all of these different courses to progress through the game. But but unfortunately again, due to terrible physics and player placement, this again was not fun. Overall, once the credits rolled, I felt like I had a headache and I never want to experience Happy Funland ever again. Priced at $20, I would, if you are interested, definitely wait for a sale in combination with a lot of updates. Possibly with all the correct VR tools added, I would still put this around the $10 mark, due to it only lasting a couple of hours. To reiterate, I don't hate it, but I do think the developers are massively blind to what is acceptable for players in terms of VR gameplay, interactions and settings. And it's such a shame, because there is something here. I had a couple of jump scares at the beginning, but the game drags itself down the more you play it, with all these bizarre decisions, and then the lack of care that you'd experience as you play just brings you down with it. Near the end, I was sitting on the rides almost falling asleep because I was just fed up of being there and just kept pushing through till I got to the end. Really sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Um, I'm going to ask for a like if possible and uh, if you to subscribe. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this review and let me know if you play this, if you buy this game, let others know 
what you think. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.